What's up guys? Welcome to another edition of DevKit Weekly where this week we'll be lighting it up with the Powerfilm Solar Indoor Outdoor EP Solar Development Kit. Oh yeah, we're also giving this one away for free. We'll make things better the second time around and that's certainly something that Powerfilm Solar has delivered on with this week's kit. If you remember a while back we reviewed the company's indoor solar development kit, but now we're on to the indoor outdoor solar development kit, the company's first with inside out capabilities. This of course starts with the panels. There are two different panels here. The MPT 2.4-21 panels of the Powerfilm Classic application series and the LL200-2.4-37 indoor panels, both of which are based on amorphous silicon material, the same stuff that powers those calculators you used to use before you got a smartphone. And you'll note that there are just a couple centimeters by a couple centimeters each. The MPT 2.4 solar panels are suitable for intermittent outdoor use and can generate 32 milliwatts of power at an operating voltage of 2.4 volts and an average open circuit voltage, or VOC, of 3.2 volts. Meanwhile, the LL200-2.4-37 indoor panels will get you an expected 70 milliwatts of power at 200 lux, running on 1.6 volts with an average VOC of 2.4 volts and a short circuit amperage of 60 microamps. The indoor panels are anywhere from 10 to 15% efficient in converting light into energy, depending on the light source, which if you're doing rough estimates, means that near a window receiving roughly 1000 LUTs, they can generate roughly 35 microwatts per centimeter, while in direct 100,000 LUT sunlight, they could produce 4200 microwatts in the same area. But outside of the panels, this kit also features new energy harvesting circuitry from EPs. EPs AEM10941 chip is capable of extracting DC power from up to seven solar panels at a time and delivering it to store a storage element like the kit's 60 milliamp hour rechargeable LiPo battery. The AEM10941 features an ultra low power cold start of three microwatts at 380 millivolts to ensure as little energy as possible is wasted and it also integrates multiple low dropout regulators. The ultra low power boost converter within the EP's chip comes with the maximum power point tracking or MPPT ratio configured to 80% and measures VOC every five seconds. So compared to the TI part on the previous Powerfilm Solar Kit we reviewed, the EP's AEM10941 performs very well in terms of the time it takes a system to go from zero volts to charge. It also has a cool feature that provides cell balancing for higher voltage multi-cell supercaps, which is great if you decide to use your own supercapacitor on the pads that are provided on the bottom of the board. Now quickly onto the board itself, which you'll notice has screw terminals, which allow users to easily hook up the positive and negative wires uh, to bring power to the board. You'll also note that there are a bunch of uh, jumpers on here. What could those be for? Well, in order to change configurations, let's say from the provided LiPo to a super cap, you just have to change the jumper pins rather than modifying resistor values, which really accelerates development and makes this kit super easy to work with. That of course also means that you can use one of these kits to prototype multiple different energy harvesting solutions for applications such as Bluetooth beacons, Bluetooth tags, e-paper displays, smart locks, thermostats, wearables, smart windows, uh, smart shades, wireless sensors, um, well, you get it. Of course, the beauty of this is that you don't have to worry about designing your own PCB, ordering parts, soldering wires, etc. You just order the platform and start getting your hands dirty. To that end, reference design files for the indoor outdoor EP solar development kit are available to be dropped into your current PCB design, which also helps accelerate the design process. And since a lot of today's tool chains and IDEs have provisions that allow you to isolate the power source, you don't have to go out and add yet another program to your development stack. All in all, this is another awesome way to get started with renewable power for IoT sensors, offering high performance at a reasonable cost. If you're interested in one of your own, you can order it online from PowerfulSolar.com, or as always, you can register for this week's raffle and perhaps you'll win this one for free. Yep, we deliver. But like I said, for more information on the Powerfilm Solar Indoor Outdoor EP Solar Development Kit, visit them online at PowerfilmSolar.com. 
Please like, subscribe, comment, and tune in next week for another edition of DevKit Weekly.